Sometimes things just seem so big, don't they? We've especially seen that these past few months. First, it was the COVID situation, and, and still is the, the COVID situation. And now we have uh, racial injustice at the forefront of all of our news roles. And, and at some point, it, just, it gets to be pretty heavy. The problems just seem so big, so daunting, it leaves me, I don't know about you, but it leaves me thinking, where do I start? W what should I do with all these things? Because as a follower of God, like you, I want to do what's right. I, I want to be a lover of mercy, as the prophet Micah says. I, I want to, to seek justice in the world around me. I want to be reminded and, and know that, that every human being is created in the image of God, no matter how tall they are, how short they are, what the color of skin they are, what their gender is, they're all created in the image of God. I, I, I need to be reminded that, that it is my call as a Christian that I'm supposed to be there, to stand in the gaps, to, to help the oppressed. And so it leads me to that question again. What can I do to accomplish these things, to, to be a part of the solution, to, to help where I can? Are there people that I need to apologize to for the way that I've treated them, either directly or indirectly? Do I need to get involved? Do I need to be a part of advocacy? How, and if so, how? How? Do I need to post my thoughts online? I don't do that often, but, but do I need to do that so that it looks like I, I care, that I, I have a, a stance that I'm taking? Because if not, I, I run the risk of my silence actually saying something. Or do I stay quiet so I don't run the risk of being misunderstood? I would guess that that most of you have felt some or all of those things yourself. As we try to figure out, where do I begin? It seems so big. There's no doubt that these past few months have made me feel uncomfortable. The routines, the, the norms of life have, for the most part, been taken away. And it continues now through this. And so, where do I start? Well, this morning I was part of a Bible study uh, that we are looking at the book of 1 Timothy. And I want to share to you some, some pieces from 1 Timothy chapter 2 uh, that I think gave me and hopefully you some, some good answers to this question about where to start. So let me start with, uh, again, we're in chapter 2 of 1 Timothy, uh, the first two verses that go like this. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a, quiet, a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Paul is, is encouraging Timothy how to lead people, how to, how to be involved with them. And he says, first of all, before you get going, Timothy, when you're unsure of what to do to, to help these folks around you, pray. Talk about making me feel uncomfortable. I want to do something. Paul says, if you want to do something, pray. Pray for all people. That, that word all is sprinkled throughout the verses that I just read and the ones I will soon read. All people. Pray for them. Not necessarily by name, but, but how can you pray for all people? He says to pray for kings and those in authority, those in high positions. We can do that, right? We, sh we should be praying for our president, for governors and senators and, and mayors and city council people who are at the forefront of a lot of the news stories we see, right, at a, at a city scenario. 
We should be praying for police chiefs as they try to figure out how to respond, how to react, how to do their jobs, how to lead their uh, police officers. We should be praying for those who are in positions of authority. And then Paul says that, that what can stem from all of this and what, what happens, what the, the goal, so to speak, is, is a peaceful, quiet life. That's certainly not what's going on in many places, at least in the United States right now, right? Peace and quiet. That, that we are also, he says, as a part of that then, to, to lead a, a godly and dignified life. And treating all others with dignity that they deserve as well. So we start by praying. Let's see where we go, where Paul takes us to next. This is in verse 3. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God... And there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. Jesus sets the tone here for us. So not only are we supposed to pray, as Paul says, but we are to promote Jesus. We are to tell other people about him because he wants all people to be saved. In fact, as Paul says, Jesus gave his life as a ransom for all. He wants all people to come to a knowledge of the truth. You see, Jesus is the mediator between God and mankind. He's the one who, who speaks on our behalf. He's the one who shows us how to live, how to serve, how to treat children and, and sinners and, and people just like you and me. And so as these difficult times likely continue, and maybe something else will be next even, and you're still not sure where to start, think of these two things today. Start by praying. Taking it out of my control and putting it back where it belongs in God's control. And then tell others about Jesus with our words and with our actions as we truly make a difference in our worlds. Pray with me if you would. God, our world is struggling right now. There's injustice and, and turmoil all around us. And there's anxiety uh, filling us, uh, maybe coming out of a, a time of tension leading into another between COVID and, and now um, these events going on all over our country. God, we pray that, that you would be with us. We pray for uh, leaders, governmental leaders and police chiefs and, and so many others around our country and around the world. We pray for them as they make decisions. Lord, we pray for our church, that we as individuals and as a body can make a difference here in our community as well. May we seek to help the oppressed. May we love mercy and seek justice as we walk this earth. Lord, we love you and we praise your name. Amen.